How's everybody doing? So I'm here to talk to you a little about DevOps anti-patterns. And uh, you know, this is stuff that is, uh, you know, DevOps is designed to help you get the most out of your relationship between your operations folks and your developer folks. Uh, but first I want to talk a little about what DevOps is not. It is not a product. Using Chef or Puppet does not make you a DevOps shop. And there's no guy that you can hire that will make you a DevOps shop. It will not make your cat stop shitting outside the litter box. It's not magic. <laughs> so it is a professional movement that kind of does for, for development and operations what Ajax did for the JavaScript community. It, it provides a point to where we can rally and kind of know what each is talking about. And the concepts aren't new, but uh, you know, it's kind of important to bring them together like this. So there's four pillars of DevOps. There's culture. You need to build a culture of open communication uh, and communal problem solving. There's automation. You need to uh, embrace automation within your culture. Uh, and, you know, use tools that allow you to do, you know, repetitive tasks easily. This is what computers are really great at, you know. Uh, you can do the same thing over and over and over and get consistent results, uh, you know, really easily with, with simple programming techniques. The next thing is metrics. You need to have metrics to understand your past and your present. You know, you have to have a historical context in order to interpret what you're seeing in your current, you know, live environment. And finally, there's sharing. And sharing is uh, both an internal and an external activity. You need to share with the outside world how you're using the tools, what you're doing, uh, as well as what you're doing internally. And you need to be an information enabler within your organization so that way you are able to work together more closely. So let's take an example. We've got John Bob Programmer who's been working on release of this thing for a long time. Uh, you know, he's been working really hard on it. And he says, I'm going to hand this off to you, Aaron. This is our, our ops handoff. But I don't think that's the right way to approach it. I think instead, it should be a more communal event. Make it a party if you'd like. Get a beer, not too much beer. And, you know, uh, engage fully. As parents know, you're not, you know, absolved of your child's actions after you send them off the stool. <laughs> also remove ambiguity. Uh, you know, your constraints in the environment should not be a surprise to everyone every time something new is developed. And you should be able to communicate effectively those constraints to your, to your teammates. You also need to understand the, what's going on in the release. You know, you're on call, you're carrying pager for this thing. You've got to understand what it's doing and even more so what your customers are doing with it. That way, when you get the call in the middle of the night from an angry customer, you can know, well, you know, what are you doing with it? You should also be able to see metrics related to this release very shortly after you've done it. You need instant feedback in order to make effective decisions like, is this working like I expected it to? Is it terrible? And what you don't know will inevitably hurt you. And finding out about this from your customers is embarrassing. It costs you money. And, uh, you know, people get fired for it. So monitor as much as you can. And most importantly, make those metrics available to others in your organization. If, uh, you know, if you've got more eyes on a problem, you're going to be able to solve it faster. And when something does inevitably go wrong, you need to work together on it. You know, do blameless postmortems. Don't, you know, turn it, this is a cultural thing. You know, you don't want to have a culture where everyone's pointing fingers. You do this, blah, blah, blah. You know, embrace automation. Again, you know, it's going to be things that computers can do over and over for you. It's the reason civilizations have advanced. We now have to scavenge for food every day. You can focus on more interesting things. So you also need to enable good culture in your organization. And, you know, we've all dealt with coworkers who are just unapproachable, who you go up to talk to them and they're, you know, they're holding a gun, they're very angry, no one knows why. But, you know, we need to, uh, to, to kind of come together. <laughs> and, you know, we're all, we're all working towards the same goals. We're trying to achieve the same thing and we're trying to grow our businesses, we're trying to make our organizations do more good. And, and it's important to keep that in mind. And you're never done, because it's, a, it's not an end goal. DevOps is a continuous process of improvement that benefits your organization over the long term. It's a mentality, not just a thing. So I want to shoot out a couple props. There's some great presentations up on SlideShare. Matthew Jones has a great DevOps overview. John M. Willis has a great series and more anti-pattern ideas. Phil Pollenbach has a great article on being DevOps kind of means don't be an asshole, right? Um, this, is, this is kind of basic stuff, but we have to keep coming back to it. And then Ted also has a great article, kind of great, kind of not, but you know, he raises some good points that you should have been doing this all along. So thanks everybody, appreciate your time, and enjoy OSCON. <laughs>